So I'm actually pretty excited to do this. I had the idea a long time ago about doing daily videos and even had a couple people recommend that I should do daily videos. I just never looked into it, or even tried to do it. But since this year, we're trying to really step up our production game and we're trying to develop a lot of new products. Plus we're teaming up with a lot of bigger companies. I figured it was the perfect time to start doing these daily videos. Now there's a couple things I hope everybody can understand. One, right off the bat, we're limited to how much we can record. I think that flash drive stick that's in the thing in the phone right now will hold roughly about four hours worth of video. So right off the bat, we're limited. And I'm normally out here from six or seven in the morning to about midnight. So we're definitely not catching all that. There's just no way. Uh, maybe one day we get a TV show and a full-fledged production crew. Uh, maybe we can catch a little bit more. But until then, we're pretty limited. I also can't let this hinder my production on parts. We're trying to stock a lot of parts. We're trying to keep five or six of everything that we offer in stock so with me trying to do all that i just i can't let the trying to film stuff hinder me on production so if i'm over at the milling machine or the plasma table and i try to walk out here for five minutes i'm not going to take the camera over here just to go out here for five minutes i'm just not going to do it but on stuff like this we got the rubicon frame if we're trying to develop the stretch kit or the tow hook or when we start doing bigger lift kits or something and we start redesigning that we'll definitely stop and we'll go over that stuff in more detail but until then most of the footage is going to be sped up footage of me cutting parts cleaning parts bending parts welding parts stuff like that now my wife did just bring me the gear reduction from dirt mafia uh, we've put this in the silver honda 500 we're going to do a before and after video there's a pretty nasty little mud hole about 15 to 20 minutes up the road. We used to go through it a lot when we were younger. Uh, took cars, trucks, four-wheelers, go-karts, dirt bikes, you name it, we used to try to take it through there. Uh, it's an old pipeline. It stays flooded. It's just basically a swamp through there. It butts up to a creek, and it just it stays deep and wet year-round. So hopefully tomorrow, today's Wednesday, hopefully tomorrow, we'll be able to do the before video. We'll come back, clean everything up put this gear reduction in, and then Friday or Saturday, we can do the after video. Pretty excited for this. Uh, me, Monster Z, Dirt Mafia, we're trying to get together and get a lot, a lot, a lot of new stuff for the Honda guys. And we got some pretty cool ideas, so hopefully we can make it all happen. Now, that's gonna be about it. I've got a ton of stuff to do. Unfortunately, at the moment, our milling machine computer decided it wanted to die. We're about three days away from getting the new computer back. They're having to build a whole new computer. Uh, the software this stuff runs, it all runs on an old type system. It, way more stuff, it's over my head to be honest. Uh, so all I can do is let the computer people build me a new computer. So we can't run that at the moment. We've got a ton of ball joint pads to do. So we can get back on more lift kits. I've got eight of each frame stiffener over here to clean, prep, bend, and weld. Uh, air boxes, bumpers, you name it, we've got to bend it, clean it, and weld it. So, I have plenty to do. I'm going to jump over here and start working. We'll stop about 5 or 6 o'clock. i got a couple things we'll go over. And then uh, see how much we can actually get done today. So, let's get to work. So, yesterday was not a good start for the daily videos. I realized about halfway through the day that the flash drive wasn't allowing the videos to be saved. I believe the only thing it saved in full length was that first two to three minute intro I did explaining the details of me doing daily videos. And it wasn't that big a deal. I didn't do a lot yesterday other than clean up some parts, tack some stuff together, and just get stuff laid out for the day. Today would be a little bit more exciting. We get to start the before and after video for the gear reduction on the 500. I'm actually headed in that direction now. I've got to pick my son up at two o'clock. I'm gonna swing by that hole, kind of check that uh, pipeline hole out and see what it looks like. I know years ago it used to stay flooded year round because it was right next to a creek and it's kind of just a swamp through there. I just wanna kind of lay my eyes on it one more time. It's been several years since I've been in that direction. I'll pick him up, we'll run home, uh, we'll get everything ready. It'll probably take us about 30 or 40 minutes to get everything loaded up. We'll head back over here and uh, we'll see what this thing's got without that gear reduction on them 33s so we're all loaded up we made it down here to the mud hole and this is pretty much part of the creek now and it is way 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 deeper than what i remember or it looks way deeper than what i remember so 
we're going to attempt this, see what we can get. I got my oldest boy with me. He's going to run the camera. It's probably a little shaky, but we'll see how this works out. So let me take my shoes off real fast and uh, we'll give this first attempt at least a try. So we used to could go all the way across this thing to the other side and turn around, but I see that there's a tree down over there on the other side now. So I'm going to see how far I can go out there and then we'll start trying to turn around and come back the other way. <laughs> So there is some pretty deep spots out there. Uh, I'm pretty sure a long, long time ago, there was a guy up the road that had a, an old, uh, I think it was like a Ford F-250 or F-150. It had like 44s on it. And he put some pretty deep ruts out there a long time ago. Uh, I think I found a couple of the ruts. And a little nervous without somebody here to try to pull me out. So we're gonna try it again and just go for it. Pretty sure that some of those holes were probably deeper than what this foiler should probably handle without a gear reduction. I can definitely tell without the gear reduction that it wants to bog down. I mean, this is mostly water. There's not a lot of peanut butter out there. So it's not a real good test as far as how the gear reduction is gonna do. But I can definitely tell when I hit some of the more mushy stuff out there on the bottom that it kind of wants to bind down. It definitely don't wanna turn them 33s without a gear reduction. So we're gonna go for it one more time, maybe go a little further. I think the left-hand side is gonna be the deep side. The right-hand side is gonna be the shallow side. Uh, I definitely don't want to get stuck way out there if I do got to get somebody to pull me back. So we may try the left-hand side, which will be the right-hand side coming back. We may try that on the way back and see how deep it gets. So... <laughs>
So second attempt, I tried to go a little bit further. Almost made it all the way across. And I hit a little spot where it kind of dove down a little too deep and it just about drowned it out. And I got real nervous and decided to turn around. Uh, and I just kind of aborted that all together. Uh, pretty deep, got up to about my knees. So just about up to the top of the gas tank uh, with the 33s and the six inch lift. So it's pretty deep out there. You can definitely tell without the gear reduction in it, if it had any more of a soft bottom to it, it, it wouldn't do it. I hit a couple spots there over towards the further end where it got deep and got a little softer bottom. If I wouldn't have stopped and went in reverse, probably wouldn't have came out. I really don't think, uh, like I say, much more of a softer bottom than that. And it just, it wouldn't do it without the gear reduction. So I'm not gonna push my luck without somebody here to pull me out. Uh, so I'm not gonna try to go all the way across it today. We're gonna go back. We're gonna put this gear reduction in and then we'll, today's Thursday, hopefully Friday. If not Friday, Saturday, I'll get my buddy to come down here with his Ranger. He's got a long toe strap and uh, we're gonna see if we can't go all the way across this thing and exactly how this does with that 60% gear reduction. So I'm gonna load this up and head to the house. So that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for today's daily video. I'm not trying to make these videos like three or four hours long, so we're gonna edit a lot of this stuff out. 
We did get quite a few of the air boxes welded out. We still got to go back and put drain plugs and clips and stuff on there, but we'll get that knocked out in the morning. Um, we got the video done before the gear reduction on the Honda 500. Hopefully we can get the gear reduction put in tomorrow and I'm shooting for Saturday on getting the after the gear reduction goes in video and the install. We'll probably do the install video tomorrow and then hopefully Saturday we can do the after test. The only reason I want to wait till Saturday is I know for a fact I can get my buddy to meet me down there. He's only like five minutes up the road from that hole. And for me to go all the way across that thing, I really want to make sure I've got somebody there with me. Main reason if something does happen and it flips over or gets stuck and it's possibly 10 times deeper than what I remember on the other end, I just want to make sure somebody's there. Uh, somebody other than my 10 year old boy that can actually give me a hand. Plus my buddy just put 33s and I think a small lift on his Ranger. So we should be able to get his Ranger just about halfway or three quarters of the way down there. And if something happens and he does have to pull me out, we'll be 10 times closer. So we'll shoot for Saturday on that, Friday for the install video. Uh, I'm about to go in and get some drink. I probably am going to come back out and work a little bit. We still got these five bumpers to bend up. And we may work on some more frame stiffeners. Maybe get everything set out and just laid out and cleaned up and ready for tomorrow morning and we can knock it out. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. I'm about to go in. I'm pretty tired. Going to get me a snack, at least something to drink. And we're going to come back out here to the whiteboard. We're going to lay a list out for tomorrow. And we'll wake up in the morning and we'll start this all over again. So until next time.